Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Cuboid Outpost. And today, well, it's been a couple of days since I last recorded, but I've been busy. I've been very busy. As you can see, you know, the drawers look a little bit different. These look a little bit different. And um, I've got this strange structure down here. So let's see what's been going on. Um, last episode, I made the AE2 system. And um, I put everything in. And then I moved my drawers because I thought I need to connect up the drawers because what's the point of having the external storage system if I've got nothing to, you know, if I don't hook it up to the AE2 system, everything's supposed to be together. So um, behind here is an ME storage bus. And also, I've been meaning to do this for a couple of episodes. I'd like to give a big shout out to Pilpo. He is also doing Cuboid Outpost. And um, I've been watching his videos alongside, you know, alongside making my own. He's given me quite a few ideas and I've learned a lot from him. You should go check him out. He's really cool. And um, he, you know, he had made a ME storage bus because obviously I know nothing about AE2. And I was wondering, well, how do you do the external storage thing? He did it. So I copied him. But you make the AE, 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 ME storage bus. And I connected it to the draw controller and also these um, these hoppers and stuff. This is all his is an idea that he has where um, you tunnel into the wall. You put a trap door where you want to go in. And you, um, you flip up the trap door so it pushes you down. Then you can go down behind the you know, down on the floor and you can do stuff. So behind here, behind each drawer, I have a hopper. You can just about see it here. And I have um, the singularity resource generator and it's generating something. So this one is the andesite one and it's pushing it into this drawer here. All the drawers have uh, void upgrades. So then um, they're con I don't have to worry about stopping them and starting them or whatever, they're always going. And then on top, instead of doing the same thing, because I don't really want to put any drawers on top, I've put, you know, I've just put the system out in the open. There's a couple of drawers that don't have anything on it. So I left the, the ore here, but um, yeah, that's what I did basically. Also, I have a very, very basic um, mob farm. So I realized that when out here is dark, mobs will spawn anyway, because when I was clearing, when I was clearing this out and stuff, this wasn't lit up and um, mobs were just spawning left, right and center. So I enclosed it, I put a bit of a thing. Um, I can stand here and kill them. They can't see me. And I was collecting stuff. So, I mean, it's, it's not brilliant. But, you know, it's there. And also I've done, let me see, I've changed this up now. So then this is my portal, my elevator up, sorry. As it's getting dark, let's sleep. I've put the doors back in on this side because I've extended my garden. I will, let me, let me fly up so you can appreciate what I've done. So, oh, no, 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 there you go. I've extended it. Let's come down gently. But I've basically made, um, yeah, I've extended my garden. Try to make it a little bit better than how it was before. So I don't have these channels of water running down the middle. I've left the original one how it was, but this one I've just, you know, expanded it and I hope this is enough for all of the seeds that I've been making because I haven't finished all of them yet I've been going through it slowly because I mean we had new years and stuff and I basically I spent <laughs> I rang in the new year making seeds <laughs> which is quite funny and um yeah so I was doing that and um that's pretty I've put in 
couple more fridges because when you make a fridge it only puts in half it's not a full size like this one if you stack them one on top of the other it will give you a full size fridge but the smaller units because if i put the fridge here it will block the the tool rack and i think it only goes three blocks high i don't i think if i put the tool rack up there it's not going to recognize it so i only made a small one but what i might do is put in the cooking for blockheads floor so i can make counters all the way around and then it will connect everything and i'll have enough storage space but we'll we'll see how it goes that is definitely my you know behind the scenes thing rather than something i'm going to do in an episode uh what else did i do i think that was it um oh i upgraded my pipes down here i have advanced universal cable And then up on the roof, I changed these to the ultimate cable because I now have two, I think it's, oh, I upgraded my, my cube, my energy cubes as well. So I now have two elite energy cubes, one up here and one downstairs. Yeah, this is taken a while because I made a backpack. That should be enough. Yeah, I went and I saw that, oh, I could make them. So I decided to make it. Actually, this fits in. That fits in one of the slots. I don't know which one, though. Oh. I think it can fit in the back slot. Nope. I'm not sure where, it, well, it's there, but it's, can I, can I armor it? Maybe? Can it be armored? Shift for info. Uh, you know what? I don't know. You can't armor it. Which is a shame because this one can be armored. Oh, okay. So why didn't it do that just now? It's a bit weird. Right, so that's what I was doing. So can I put this? Yes, I can put, I can wear my backpack. Oh, it's off. Options, controls, category, get pack. Uh, toggle hover mode is G, toggle engine is V. Okay, there you go. All right, let's go back upstairs and just look at Oh, gonna take a while to get used to my settings. Right, let's go up. There you go. See, right. Let's have a look and look down. And that is my farm. Better look at it. And we'll come down slowly. Ah, right. So. Um, what are we doing today? We, I did say we were going to do tinkers. I don't know why I just walked across from the other, pla oh, there's something in the mob farm. Let me just show you how that works, as if you didn't know how a mob farm works. Oh, it's a little baby one. Okay, didn't get anything. I don't know. The drop rate is a bit poor. But, you know, it's good for the XP. Right, so, today, what are we doing? Enough dithering. Um, oh, I finished off getting digital. I went and made all of these, all the little things. And I made the refined inscriber. So that's cool. So, tool tinkering. Now, I have done a lot of this already because I had tinkers tools. But I didn't want to claim the... The rewards until i actually got to the section so i've made the tables let's see what do you need to do uh oak log we've done that patterns i've made those the tables the crafting table the, the part builder and the tinkering table i made the wooden tool handle tool binding and axe head 
I made my axe and I get a wooden repair kit. And I've, you know, we're past that stage. And okay, I hereby confirm I've made an axe with a stone axe head. I did that. And what's this? Uh, iron small axe head. Okay, let's do that. Small axe head, I think that only takes one ingot because Tinkers has now changed all the values. Small axe head. And for most things, it's only one or two ingots. I know, and it's gone and proven me wrong. We need two. Okay, I knew that was going to happen. I knew it was going to make a liar out of me as soon as I said it. <laughs> but, but yeah, it takes two. But they've, like I said, they've changed the values on some of them. For some of them, I thought it would take more, and it didn't. So I don't know. Uh, small axe head. Where'd it go? There it is. Oh yes, and I made these to put on my uh, mattock. So let's go downstairs and let's fix those. All right, part built though. Tinker station, uh, my mattock is here. Put that there, because we want this bit, the anvil. And then put the bits that will need to replace it. Nope, there. Oh, that's interesting. Can I only do one at a time then? I can only do one at a time. But now my mattock will last a little bit longer. Right, so there's that. And we get puny smelting. And go ahead, upgrade your stone hand axe to an iron hand axe. I've done that. Did I? I can't remember what axe I've got at the moment. Uh, where are we? Axe. It is iron. So yeah, we've done that. Um, okay, and I get silky cloth. So how much silky cloth did we get? Oh, five. So that means I can make a, my pickaxe. I can make it silk touch, which is awesome. And special anvil. Complete alloy, alloy aloha in getting tinks done to activate the section. Getting tinks done. Oh, no, we've done that. So that's fine. All right. So we need a tinker's anvil. Anyone. Uh, let's see. Right, which one can we do? Slime steel, Tinker's bronze, rose gold, pig iron. Bronze? I don't... Steel. We can do blocks of steel, I think. Yes. No. I said we could do blocks of steel. That's interesting. Okay. So why are you telling me now it's telling me I can't. Okay, let's see what else we can use. Why has it got it twice? Oh, one is, no. Scorched anvil. Oh, normal anvil. Okay, bronze, brass, electrum, invar. We should be able to do invar. I've got lots of invar blend. What else? Constantin, steel. All right, let's... Let's make the steel. I think I have enough steel for that. Okay. Um, I also upgraded all of, not all, but a lot of, most of these things. Enriching, I don't think that needs to go here. All right, it's just going to go in here. Yeah, I've upgraded most of my mechanism machines so that they run a bit faster. Uh, steel. I had steel. I knew I had steel. Okay. Block of steel. It wants three. Right. Tinkers. All right. Steel block. There we go. It keeps putting in the invar, but it takes it. That's rather bizarre. All right. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put you on this side. Did I mention my backpack? And is it going? No, it's not going to see it. We're going to have to Let's switch these out. I don't think I mentioned my backpack. I made a backpack. You've, I showed it, but I didn't actually show it, if that makes sense. 
So um, one of the quests was to make a backpack. That was one of the side quests. So I did that and, and I started doing the upgrades. And when you do, you have to do the upgrade base, first of all, to get into it. But then once you make the once you make one of the upgrades, it will give you back an upgrade base. So you don't have to keep worrying about where you're going to get me um, leather from, because obviously I don't have a huge supply of leather at the moment. But it keeps giving you back a base so that's you know that helped a lot so i made um the advanced magnet because i love a magnet and cube did not put any magnets in even though i asked him really nicely so <laughs> i've now got a magnet on my backpack um i've got the void upgrade so uh, no don't take that out there you go void setting so you can say what you want it to void so the not so good in pieces silica dusk and carbon deposits because we have loads of those and we don't need any more so there's that and there's also oh don't click on that right this is the side i need to click on also have a crafting upgrade so you can craft things here and you can either shift click the result into the player's inventory or into the backpack so as you can see i need to empty out my backpack there's also an upgrade so that you can shift click the backpack, the contents of the backpack into um, an inventory, which I will do at some point, but it's not a top priority. So there's that. But at the moment, anything that I take out goes straight into my backpack. So I have to, um, you know, have to keep going in to take it out. Right. And I want... The Tinker's Anvil. I just do. Has it gone back in? Yes, it has. Because I very helpfully threw it out. But if I put it there, now it sees it. And now we can make all the good stuff. You know, the excavator. What was this? A scythe. Okay, yep. A scythe might be it might be handy. I might do that later. Um lots of stuff. So we get that book. And a smasher for dirt. So two large plates, two tough handles, and any excavator. Uh, let's make it out of stone because I don't think I'm going to use the excavator. The two large plates. Uh, two large plates, tough handles. Right, two of those. And an excavator, crafting station, part builder. No. Tinker's Anvil, Excavator, that one, yes, and an Excavator. So I probably should have made, I should have done the, the Tinker's one earlier, but you know, it's not, it's, it's no biggie. Right, and we get a Creative Upgrade and the Cleaver. So any broad blade, any Cleaver. All right, we're going to take, we're going to be a bit better with that one. All right, we need some wood. Um, actually, no, let's, let's make it all out of stone and then we can make, um, plates for it and then we can make something out of metal, gold. That's what I want. Part builder. So we need a large plate. We need a tough handle. We need a broad blade. Um, what else do we need to make? All right any cleaver and we get creative ability nice um what else do i want to no i need a suitable cobalt maybe not sure how many we'd need actually let's just smelt up a whole stack um front door um let's see we need the gold we have one two three so we need three of those and And then let's do, actually, let's do half a stack because that would do it or doubles. All right, I've got them in my inventory. Let's wait for that to, oh, there you go. That's two. It's taken two. It used to take eight. I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, the cleaver, how much does that take? Just one. Oh, two tough handles. Right, one of those. Right, so, um, no, we don't need that bit. We need this bit. Okay, when we make in the cleaver, right? 
That is the cleaver. Oh, good grief. I left them upstairs. Right. Cleaver. What is that? Is that a battle axe? A vein hammer? A broad mining tool. It harvests many connected blocks of the same type. Oh, that's a new one. Right. Anyway, uh, we need that. We need two of those and one of those. And now we have a cleaver. Yep, I for I keep forgetting to turn that down. So the cleaver, I think we can put sharpness on it and we can put some other stuff. Severing two, that's nice. Um, Yeah, it does things. The books that we got, I think you can turn them into one. Oh no, I need the nether one to turn it into one super encyclopedia thing. So there's that. So we, that's another chapter, creative ability. I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet or where I'm going to add them. So let's just put these in here for now. Uh, the excavator. Actually, the excavator. No, the excavator I'm never going to use. These I can put back in my backpack. Right, next thing. Right, digging up the dirt. I'm slowly making my way through it. Like I said, it's taking me a while. Dirty in the dishes, I have, all right, we need to complete four of these. That's one, two, three. We need one more, cooking oil. We should be able to make cooking oil. There you go, cooking oil. So where are we? Good, yeah, so that's that. That's unlocked. So now we can do dishing up the meat. Apart from a somewhat dodgy supply of meat and a fairly time consuming supply of fish, you don't have easy access to meat and animal products. It's time to try and rectify this. You need to start working on recreating some familiar animal life now. Get you get to it. And we've unlocked it. So there's that. Right. So raw material. We need a bone. We need witch water and we need eight rotten flesh. Right, do we actually have, do I, I have a bucket, do we have any witch water? I think, oh, we do. And do we have anything, I don't think we have anything. Uh, no, thought I took out my crops there. Right, let's go downstairs, get a bone. We just need one bone. And we need one rotten flesh. We don't have that many, but that's okay. I oh, know we want eight. We want eight. All right, we need seeds. Do I have any here or are they all downstairs? Oh no. We have seeds. Uh, the first animal we're going to aim for is a chicken. Chicken likes wheat seeds. Nuff was a fairy. Fair enough. Oh my days, the dad jokes, the dad jokes. Okay, RNA. You pop some rotten flesh or bone into the molecular recycler and you get back some RNA. RNA. Okay, so let's do the molecular recycler. That is this one. Let's put the bone in because we've got more bones than we do rotten flesh. And we get two RNA. Uh, protein paste, silica dust and protein paste. Do we have any protein paste left? Silica dust. I don't know if I have any. How do you make protein paste again? Protein, no, E-I-N paste. That is uh, silica dusk and rotten flesh in this. Oh no, I took it upstairs because I found myself just going. I found myself just going up and down all the time to make the seeds. So I took it up here, but I think I might have to make one downstairs. I don't know. All right, that's that. Let's try out our cleaver. Where's the cleaver? Let's see if we can get anything cool with it. 
Oh, look, they're hugging. How cute. It's not a one shot. Oh, you know what? If I'm up against this, it goes into my backpack. Yeah. Forgot about that. So I know we got rotten flesh. We have more rotten flesh in there. We got grave dust in there. I was wondering why I wasn't getting anything in the chest because it's all going in my backpack. The bones, the arrows. Anything else? I think that's about it. Probably some redstone, red, yeah, redstone and string. So we've got that. Gloop, primordial group, RNA with protein paste. Okay. Uh, RNA, which is that, and protein paste. Got to go back upstairs. I should have just stayed upstairs. It gives us gloop and wikidium dust and protein fiber. I need to think about if I want, oh, maybe I should. I should extend. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. I might have to come up come to the side and come up and put a crafting table up here and then I wouldn't have to be up and down all the time all right so the dust and the protein fiber dust and the protein fiber no oh Oh, we needed the wikidium dust for the protein strands, which we've done. No. Wikidium dust and protein paste. Oh, there's protein fiber. I'm misreading. Right. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Wikidium dust, protein paste, and that makes something. So wikidium dust and protein paste, which I don't have. Ah, and the protein paste... What is that? Obsidian skull. Ooh. Right. Uh, protein paste. Which was silica dust and rotten flesh. Silica dust, rotten flesh, protein paste. All right. Protein paste and wikidium dust. Okay, we did that. And the DNA. Uh, protein strands, primordial gloop. And we didn't have to go through that because we already had it. Oh. But you know what? It's because Cube calls it protein strands, and I'm thinking it's something different, but it's the protein fiber. Same thing. All right, we've got that. So, the spawn of science and magic. Uh, chicken spawn egg. Make a hole, fill it with a bucket of witch water. Throw in an egg, some primordial group. How do we get an egg? Albumin. DNA and bone meal. Bone meal. So there was a task for that. Oh, here. Oh, I should have followed the arrows. Ah, and if you're a certain age, you know what songs just popped into your head. You know, thank you, Sesame Street. Albumin. So DNA and bone meal with albumin. DNA and bone meal. So DNA is that one. Bone meal is that one. This is definitely me not reading. Okay, so to get an egg, you put alb in a drying rack. That is downstairs. This is slow. Can we upgrade it? I don't think we can upgrade it. All right, what's next? And then we make the chicken spawn egg. So RNA, seed, gloop. Egg, gloop, seed, RNA. Ah, there we go. We get a chicken egg. All right, so there's that. So we completed that bit. This goes up to here, not a dolly. So now we're going to recreate sheep. Oh, is that so that's a chicken spawn egg yes all right so what's the next bit let's make a sheep 
All right, wool, sky stone, egg, and gloop. Right, let me go off, make those, and then we'll be back. Right, got all of those things, not half bad. All right, two sheep. Um, and which water? Let's make one. I'll make the other one off, off, offline. Can I? No, I probably can't put it in. Did I just do it out here? Uh, do I have seeds? No, because <laughs> you know that would be that would be the responsible thing to do. And of course, I don't have seeds. Where did I put the seeds? Are they all in my backpack? Yes, they are all in my backpack. Let's make sure that's what we need. We don't need a seed. Oh my days. All right, egg, gloop, wool, skystone. Why skystone? It's a bit random. Gloop, skystone, egg, wool. Sheepy sheep. Uh, we make a pig, a horse. Oh god, not neighbours. I don't need the neighbours tune in my head. Alright, so we need a pig, we need a horse, and then... Why do cows have hooves instead of feet? Because they lack toes. They lack those. Oh, good grief. The dad jokes. Alright, let me make these offline, and then I can complete... We can complete this. Because then we've done two sections today, and it'll be absolutely awesome. So I will see you guys again in a little bit. Okay, I'm back. I have made um, all the animals apart from the cows. And I went a little bit overboard, I guess. I've got... Um, I went and did a double fence in the back because I figured the animals will probably be spooked by whatever, <laughs> whatever's in the... Um, you know, whatever's out here. I need to put in a, a hopper to collect the eggs um so yeah chickens sheep i did two of everything pigs horses two of them are tamed one isn't and this is for the cows so let's go make a cow and um finish the chapter i went and put out two little holes of uh witch water because i didn't want to go get another bucket i was just being lazy right leather bucket gloop egg Egg. There's one cow spawn egg. There you go. Yeah, I forgot how loud that is. Let's do it again. Leather, bucket, goop, egg. And we got two cows, two moo cows. And I had a feeling it was going to eat my bucket, so that's why I did that. There you go. So we have finished the chapter. We have some animals. Meeting the others. What do you have to do with this? Oh, more animals. Do we really challenge bonus? Create a minimum of five of these additional spawn eggs and the Department of Fur Babies and Zoology at Cuboid Core have decided to reward you with something truly special. Okay, I think we can do that. And you don't have to make any of these. But if you do five, yeah, we just saw that. So we can, we can get these. That's not a Bucket of lactic acid, milk, bucket, and salt. Okay. So, yes, that's another off camera thing. It's not really going to be worth. Okay, right. So, all right. So, next time we will actually, I think we need to look at making more power. I think we need to look at making more power. We've done enough with food at the moment. I'm going to leave deliciously creative for until I get some more. Um, some more food resources you know milk and whatever but i think hmm should we base the rainbow do alloys thermal i think we need to i think we need to do the power route first we need more power i'm not sure where to put the reactor to be honest on the roof maybe we could build up or we could go down I think it might be easier to go down. 
I don't know. I'll have to have a think about that. But yeah, we need to we need to start making more power. And um, yeah, so that was a kind of a long episode. You know, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, bye-bye.